The biggest complaint that me and most other iPhone users have when trying to switch to Android is, but what about iMessages? Well, today is a great day because for the last few months, I have been secretly messaging my iPhone friends, not from my iPhone, but from my Android phone. And it is so good that it's finally about time I made a video about it. If you are new here, then hi, my name is Pete. And on this channel, we help busy entrepreneurs find the best tech, be productive and stay safe online. As you may well be aware, I have an ongoing series of videos where I try my best to switch from my phone to a different Android phone each time. And it's getting easier in part because of one app and that is called Beeper. Beeper is the first app I've come across that not only lets you use iMessage on Android, but also it centralizes all of the chats I get across all of my social media accounts into that one place. That covers Facebook messages, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, Slack, WhatsApp, Signal, Discord, LinkedIn, Android SMS, Google Hangouts, Telegram, and, and just so many more. You just simply connect your accounts and you have a really simple client that brings them all together. Now, the downside that I found is now you have one like giant chat app that holds everything. Well, that kind of gets quite busy, but it does save you logging into each social media platform to just constantly check your messages. Now, if you're someone like me and you're trying to maybe like cut down on your social media usage a little bit, then using Beeper actually means you can delete the social media apps from your phone, but not miss any direct messages. It's actually really, really neat. For those of you who just want iMessage on Android, you do need a Mac to make this work, but you can basically pick up a Mac on eBay really cheaply nowadays. Otherwise, it is a simple case of completing like the integration wizard. That is literally it. Just pick up your Android phone and send iMessages. Actually, there is one more thing to add here. I did find that going into your iMessages settings and then setting your primary like iMessage account to be an email address rather than your phone number, that really, really does help because if you pop your SIM card into an Android phone and then people try and I like iMessage you, it doesn't always work well, sometimes, but after changing that email settings, it was all good from there on. Now, this is still in the early stages and there are still some improvements that I'd like to see on Beeper. One, because you do have so many chat networks in one place, it does get very busy. And on the desktop app, you can click like each chat network separately to just view those conversations. And that's also something I'd like to see come to the mobile apps because currently Currently, you can't filter down to each like chat network and you have to scroll or search until you just find that right conversation. Number two, I actually love the ability to customize the notifications based on which chat network it's coming from. You do have the ability to like mute conversations so you don't get notified of like those conversations and you can also favorite chats so they stick to the top, but it's not the same as say like, I don't want any notifications from Facebook Messenger. Now, thirdly, at the moment, the chat networks are limited as to their features. I think the biggest one I've had is that you can't start new conversations from Beeper. You have to either scroll back and then find an old conversation, then continue that one, or you open up the actual messaging app or iMessage or you know, Facebook Messenger, start the chat there, and then you can pick it up from Beeper. This one sounds a bit of a pain in the backside, but genuinely, and actually I can only really think of one time, I think, where I actually had to go into one of the apps, start a message. I think I might be an iMessage to send a new message that I can then carry that on within Beeper. But with that said, these are all minor issues. Given the huge benefit I've seen of having everything in that one place, Beeper is a paid for app. It's $10 per month and you can sign up at beeper.com where you basically just register your interest and they'll contact you when they're ready to onboard you. And there was a waiting list for this when I signed up many months ago, though I think they're only a few weeks kind of behind now. So best get yourself registered, even if you're not sure about paying for it, just register. And then when like the offer opportunity comes to actually become a paying customer, then you can decide. Because when you do get onboarded, well, it's actually a really fun experience. You literally hop on a video call with Eric, who's the co-founder of Beeper and also founded the Pebble smartwatch. And him and like his whole team will guide you through getting set up and you won't leave that call unless, well, A, you want to, or B, you have all of the integration set up and working. So that is how you can send iMessages from Android and actually even on Linux and Windows as they have clients for those too. And that is how you can centralize all of your messages into one single app. I personally found it really useful. I hope you do too. Now links will be down below for everything you need. There's no affiliates links this time. So maybe go and grab a discounted one password license instead whilst you're uh, looking at those links. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.